Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and today I am going to be teaching you how to paint this easy watercolor igloo. Let's get started. To start this painting, I'm going to show you how I drew my igloo. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a thin oval for the base of our igloo. And then you're going to draw a semicircle over the top connecting either side and then you're going to create one ring around the top so just a curved line and then another curved line and then one more <laughs> curved line and we're going to do one little one right here at the top a little circle at the top so your goal is just to make it look more circular. I'm gonna kind of bring out my base just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more rounded. And then in the middle of the, basically the middle um, row we created, we're gonna have one little line going out. And then over here at the bottom, we're gonna bring another line going out. And we're gonna have one parallel to that over here and then we're going to connect these two. And then this line right here is going to have curved down. So just you can kind of play with the shape to get the amount of circularness that you want. And then this line kind of acts as a guide going out to where our front is going to circle. So there we have the entrance into our igloo. And then we're gonna create a little door to get in. And then really quickly, I'm going to erase these guidelines. Cause now we're gonna start adding a little bit more detail. And then we're gonna add a line at the top coming down and then one more at the base right above the base and then we're going to do this everywhere we are going to make tiny little curved square shapes all around so I'm just kind of curving my lines as I go to help it have that rounded feel. So you don't want to make any straight lines, you want them all to be curved, is really the trick to getting the igloo to look right. right. I'm just gonna erase a little bit up here, just those little guidelines. Right. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. So making a curved line and a curve another curve kind of avoiding I'm not going straight with any of them I'm kind of having the lines go in between each line as I work down the layers all right and then we're just going to add a little bit of shadowing in here this is basically just for the drawing because we're going to lightly erase all of this for our actual painting so now that we have our igloo drawn, I am going to transfer it over to my watercolor paper by just scribbling some pencil right behind it and then I'm going to trace over it onto my watercolor paper. Now that we have our sketch transferred over to our watercolor paper, we can begin painting in our igloo. So I have already mixed up a light wash of cadmium yellow off to the side. And I am going to put this in my igloo. And I want this color already in place because I want this to kind of be a glow that is going to come out of our igloo since it's going to be a night sky. And I'm just gonna carry it through out into the snow. I'm gonna clean my brush off and I'm just gonna kind of blend out that yellow. I'm 
I don't want it to be super strong. I just want there to be enough that it really gives a nice glow as we build up the layers around it. So I'm just watering it down right here a little bit. Add just a little bit more onto the snow and just kind of blend that out. Add just a little bit of some pink paint in there just to give a little bit of a variety. All right, and then we're gonna leave it like that. So that's gonna start to dry. And then I'm gonna switch over to my flat brush and I'm going to fill up my entire sky with some clean water. And I have put mountains in place. If you can't see them that well, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go over to my blog where I'll have my sketch where you can see it a lot better. So I'm just avoiding those mountains. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm gonna go into a dark blue paint that I've already mixed up off to the side and just start applying that basically all over. So right now it's getting, it's pretty light. Before I add any more pigment to it, I have a purple paint mixture that I mixed up. Just going to bring that in and allow these two colors to go together. I'm gonna switch over to my round brush. Just kind of tap that purple paint closer to my mountains, just to kind of keep that detail without getting it into my mountain layer. And then I can blend my purple up into that blue. And I'm going to get a little bit more of my blue mixture just to get a little bit darker. The little bit of black. I'm just going to bring that back into the top to get a darker tone. And since my page is still pretty wet, I don't need to worry about getting any weird blooming marks. Get a little bit more black in there. You want it to be darker toward the top of your sky and then it can get lighter as it gets towards your mountains. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush and get more of that purple. I just use some violet and a little bit of black to create the purple paint that you're seeing. The only reason I added it black was just to give it more of a night sky feel rather than the very vibrant violet that it naturally comes as. So just kind of working this up. Okay, just like that. All right, so we are going to let this completely dry. And then we can come back in and add more details to our landscape and to our igloo. While we let our night sky dry, we can start working on our igloo and the snow around the igloo. So I'm just going to take a very, very light wash of magnesium blue. And with the tip of my brush, I'm just going to start filling in my little squares 
on my igloo. So I'm going to start the bottom pretty dark. And then as I work upwards, I want my igloo to become a little bit more transparent and really letting that yellow shine through. So I'm just following those guidelines that we drew earlier that make up the shape of our igloo. And you can be pretty loose here. You don't really need to let all of these lines touch. So try to be as loose as possible. Right, I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to come over here for the base. going to leave a little bit of space in between each of these ice bricks just like that all right and then I'm going to leave this one clear for now and I'm just going to come up here so that I don't have to worry about it bleeding into each other so just adding some of those blue splotches I'm going to be even more loose up here just because I really want that yellow to shine through. I'm just leaving little bits of space clear as I work my way up, letting little yellow spots come through and then also just little spaces in between each brick. I'm gonna take a little bit darker paint. I'm gonna fill in that top circle. Like that. And then with darker paint, I'm gonna fill in these ice blocks up here, leaving some white space just for detail. Just like that, and I'm gonna leave those um, clear for now while I work on the rest. And then I'm just gonna fill in little square patches down here leaving a little bit of white space in between each brick. Just like that. All right, and then while we let those bricks dry, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna first clean my brush off, and then I'm going to kind of fill in with clean water around that initial little um, glowing area that we did. Just kind of filling up this entire bottom area with clean water. Avoiding my igloo though so it doesn't bleed into it or bleed out into my snow. And then I'm going to take that clean really light wash of blue and just kind of tap this in in random spots especially around this highlighted area. Just to give some depth to our snow instead of just leaving it completely white. There's no perfect system to do this. Just kind of have fun putting down random splotches of this blue paint, but make sure that you do leave a good amount of white space in between so that it, the blue is just more shadow and then the white really shows through as the actual snow. So we're first gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back to our igloo. All right, now that most of our igloo has dried, we're gonna go ahead and continue working and finishing off our igloo before we move to our mountains. So we're just gonna go back into that light blue paint color. 
and we're just going to fill in the rest of these little squares just like we did before. Leaving little bits of space where you can still let the yellow shine through, just leaving space in between each little cube so that nothing really bleeds together too much. And then a little up here at the top. Just going to let it touch right there up against that top circle. And I'm going to go into my darker blue paint and fill in these cubes. And one more. Trying to leave a little space in between each of them. And then I'm going to come down here and leaving the smallest space, I'm going to fill in these with that darker paint color as well. And a little right here. Just kind of adding a little bit of darker tones on ones that have already started to dry. Do the same thing with this layer. Just get a little bit darker, leaving space in between each so that nothing, again, bleeds together. Just kind of letting it glaze over that first layer and then I'm going to come up to this one and I'm going to color this in a little bit darker but kind of have this color blend into that lighter blue so it's not a fully dark one but it's kind of giving that transition between the two just a little bit more dark paint on that side right there I'm going to come up here and give this one some darker paint. And I'm just going to do that in a couple other little areas. With this one, I'm just going to tap in some of the darker paint. Not everywhere. It'll just kind of bleed through. And then I'm going to darken up this top circle. And then I'm going to use that lighter blue to just kind of glaze over what we already did. Just to give a second layer because I feel like my yellow is really coming through very boldly. I just want it to be a little bit more subtle to see more of that blue coming through. So I'm just going to do that on all of the remaining squares that I've already have in place. like that and then up here as well All right, and there we have the outside layer of our igloo. 
So again, we are gonna let this completely dry before we move on to our next step. For our next step, we are gonna use some white watercolor paint straight out of the tube. So instead of these pans that I've usually used, it already comes with a white, but this would be really watered down to use. So straight out of the tube is gonna be very thick and it's gonna allow it to show up a lot more in our painting. And also it's going to give a paint color we're going to mix together a more opaque look. So the first thing we're gonna do with our white paint that we just um, squeezed out of the tube, we're gonna cover up our igloo in that little shadow area. And then we are going to take a little bit of that white paint and water it down. And then we are just going to tap that in all over the sky. I want this splatter to look more like stars rather than snow, which is why I'm trying to keep my igloo covered so it doesn't look like there's snowfall. And I'm also doing it before my mountains again, so it doesn't go over them um, and it looks more like stars. All right, so there we have that. And we can move our little scrap pieces of paper out of the way. And we can continue working even while those stars dry. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some Payne's Gray from my pans into that white paint straight out of the tube. So I'm gonna move this so you guys can see what I'm doing, how I'm mixing it up over here to where I'm gonna create a very thick um, paint color that's gonna be more opaque and not as transparent as watercolor usually is. So now with that being said, we are going to apply this gray paint to the top section of our mountain. So you just need to fill in the top part. You don't need to worry about adding any extra detail right now. Adding a little bit of water just because it's not spreading that well. Okay, and then while this mountain peak is still wet, I'm gonna go and go all the way down that line that I drew. I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna go into my black paint and I'm going to fill in the base and work my way up and allow these two colors to blend. So I'm just avoiding going beneath that horizon line I want my black to be pretty dark. And then I'm just gonna bring it up and allow it to go into the gray. So right now I'm just kind of doing some jagged lines going into it. And I'm gonna go back into our gray in a second. And I'll show you how we're going to blend it all together. And then over here, I'm gonna be very careful to avoid my igloo. Just getting this base nice and dark.
All right, and then I'm gonna clean that brush off. Go back into my gray paint, and I'm just gonna pull it down into the black. And doing this is just going to help it really blend and give it that nice uneven mountain peak look. Again, I'm just pulling that paint downward. Just like that. To bring a little bit more of the gray over here. Just kind of let that seep down. A little bit to the tip. All right, I like how that one looks, so I'm gonna leave it. It is very easy to just keep wanting to play with this, and I'm really bad at that. So I'm gonna just leave that mountain peak the way it is and we can move on to our next one. So we're gonna start with the same process by starting with the Payne's Gray and the white mixture. There we go. And we're just gonna fill up the entire mountain peak. And then I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to go in with that a thick wash of that black paint. And again, I'm going to be very careful to avoid my igloo. So I recommend doing this step with a nice tip on your brush. I'm going to do that jagged effect up into the mountain. Go along my horizon line. Just like that. And then I'm going to clean my brush. And then go back into my gray. And then blend these two together. All right, I'm gonna leave it just like that. All right, now we are going to let this completely dry before we move on and finish off our painting. So now what we're going to do is add some darker snow shadows to our landscape. So I'm just gonna take some clean water on my flat brush and I'm gonna fill up that entire area around my igloo. And again, I'm just gonna be careful to avoid touching my igloo and also avoid touching the mountains. So since this is a night sky, a night scene, we just need to make our shadows even darker. 
So I'm going to use the same color I used for the top of the sky. I'm going to put it on my flat brush and I'm just going to go I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue. I'm just going to go around my igloo, the base, to really give some shadowing. And I'm going to blend that out. So there will be some light areas. And then there are going to be some dark areas. And that's why we filled up the entire area with water. So it all just blends seamlessly around. And remember, in perspective, the, the farther away something is, the lighter it's going to appear. So we want the darker tones to be closer toward us. And then the, it's going to get lighter as it moves toward the mountains. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Add a little bit more of that ultramarine blue. Just kind of giving it that shadow. And again, still leaving white space. And then just going to blend it out. So back here, I really want it pretty light. And I'm going to blend this into the white, going behind the igloo. And then with that dark paint color, I'm going to fill in this little space inside the igloo. The only other thing I did to finish off this painting was I used the dark blue paint mixture with just a little bit of ultramarine added in and I used the tip of my brush to just add some lines to sharpen up the edges of the egg glue. I did not do this on every single edge of each cube, I just did it on mainly on the left side and then a little bit on the top of some of the cubes. Like I said, just to give some border and to kind of finish off the igloo and make it look a little bit more crisp. And that is all I did, and there you have a watercolor igloo. Hey everyone, thanks for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed this painting and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like any extra details on this painting, head over to my blog, Reflecting Creation. I'll have a link in the description box below. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.